Welcome back to another episode of the zoo. This is Kickjax here in my my wonderful new house over here. So over here I am on my porch. Looks like I'm missing a fence post right here. I gotta fix that up. I guess I'm not. Uh, guess you're never truly done with the remodel, huh? But over here, let's show you my new wonderful base. Now I don't have it really stuffed, but I think I put it in fairly well. You know, I have my ender chest. I'll put those shulker boxes in there. I have my workstation, some flowers, some of my old armor here with, you know, the swords that you get from the gold farm. I have a jukebox in case I want an anvil to go. Now up here, I finally got some nice paintings here. I have some extra storage if I need it, as well as a nice clock so I can know if it is time to sleep in a bed or not. But what I don't know what I should do is right down here, I have this little basement here first, and I'm not sure, I did mine down a little bit more, but I'm not sure if I want to do it here or up here. I think if I were to put chests along here, I could only get two high, and they're only about six or seven across, so I don't think this is going to be enough. So I think I started to mine down there. And I think I did like having the mud brick. So what I think I'll do is I'll go down and mine all of that out and get that taken care of. And then up here, I think we might use for a trophy room or something else. I'm not sure what I'll put down here. Maybe I'll put a couple workstations down here just so that I have all of them there. But we'll figure out what we'll want to do and we'll go do that. I think what we may need to do is a spot to put all of these items. So inside of this lovely house, let's see where the best place to put that is. Maybe inside the house, I think I do have at least somewhat of the basement started here. So I think what we might have to do is go down there and just start placing them. So I think what we'll go is we'll go down there and mine that out and then we'll get that started. And there we have it. We have at least it mined out and I did took the luxury of also placing all of the mud bricks just because that took forever and I kind of forgot to record. But now that we have this here, I was just getting just the little bit of items here just to see what it is. And so I got everything prepared to start moving these items. But it's going to be five chests tall by 11 across and then the exact same on this other side right here. So my plan is in here. We have the statutes. I will show you what that's for and an item frame. So the hope is that we can, with all the storage, I can get everything sorted out. So we'll place an item frame on here and let's just say that this one's just going to be cooked meat. So what we can do is we can take these statutes. Now it's going to look a little weird, but as long as I'm eye level with it and I open this book, we can go right in here and it says item frames. The cool thing about the table or the statutes book is you can actually click on it and we'll take it to it. So fixed item frame, I do. I guess I need to add to enable that but if I go into there and I make the invisible item frame now it's invisible Now the nice thing is if I am able to get that to not move when I right click it it won't actually spin around in a circle it is nice that is an option here but that is the plan here is just to get all of those set up on here but first we have to get all these chests items sorted and taken down even these shulker boxes right here as they have a lot of other valuables items inside of them so it's going to be a little bit but we will hopefully get all these items moved down below into the storage room and then from there we'll get them sorted out so we're going to start that
Alrighty, well, here we are. When we finally were able to get all of these chests moved down underneath into our house over here. So what I think I'll do is I'll clean up this little area right here real quick. Alright, now that we got all of that taken care of, let me show you what we've done underneath. And here we go, the big reveal. Now, I am actually impressed that I was able to use up all of these options here for all of these chests. Now, some of them, obviously, I didn't spin correct as I hadn't locked all of them in here. But I did get pretty much everything here sorted into these areas. So I tried to keep them stone and then kind of nether areas. And then over here, I kind of put some greenery and then it kind of devolved into just random items. Wood types here with all the different wood types and then the saplings here I did just sort with these two main saplings that I have and then if I have any leaf blocks. Now tools over here other sets of shields and other unstackable items are going to go over there into that chest but I think I have a pretty decent handling on my items now. I don't know if you consider this a chest monster but it is fairly crazy. But I do like having all of these places sorted. I did like how I did have an ancient debris that I was able to use. Even though I don't have any ancient debris, but let's say I did get some more, I could put it there. And then, you know, different end stone bricks, different end stone, and so on and so forth. I do like having everything sorted. It does look fairly cool, I think, having them all stacked right here, but it's definitely going to help out in the future. So, now that I have everything sorted, it is quite nice. But I think after this, I think what we'll go do is we will go uh, show some other zoo members what this magical warp shrine right here is for and where we're going. Hello. All right. So uh, I was thinking wait. we have our base up here with the little red and I was thinking we can have him shoot this over here and hopefully that will work. Which I have just enough red terracotta. I think I'm gonna just surround that. Hopefully the server backing up a little. I brought you a lamp. Perfect. So let's put that lamp to good use. Make sure it works. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna use our imagination with my two dirt blocks right here. Oh, that Very was real close. That hit. Yeah, the <laughs> right below it on the floor. You oh, need wow. to go a little to the right and up two blocks. You're gonna hit me right in the face. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that one. I hit it. That, I hit it. I saw the I saw the lamp go on. I was like, I can't tell. It somehow teleported behind me. Perfect. Oh, who oh here he is. He's joined. Shh, 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 shh. What is Gucci, my gamers? We're not doing nothing at all. We are just uh, practicing our archery. If you want to come yep. join. Let's also, also, I have my magical new base here, so you can uh, see my wonderful base if you want. Yeah, I saw your last video. You finally finished your uh, house, cozy home. Like? No. Yes, yes. My nice cozy home. But well, still needs to be just furnished just a little bit. But that one is hopefully coming here soon. I have my upstairs where my bed will soon lie. I just haven't moved it over. And then I have my double basement. I think this first one here might be a little an achievement room. <laughs> and then down below is my storage. And that one should hopefully be done in this video as well. But... We will see that in another time lapse where we already saw it and it's just out of order. As promised, uh, we were practicing our archery, so you are standing on this magical little teleport shrine. Okay. Oh, should I come oh. with? Oh, where'd you guys go? Yeah. Since I already hit it, you know. It, uh, it's not we were... so secret. Nope, but we have this all the way out there, so we, here, hold on, don't go uh, I'll there. be the judge, I'll be the judge. Right. Yeah, oh, he's going to be oh. your spotter. Because your I, I already hit it. Yeah, because I've got my super bow. awesome bow, but I can use yours if I don't want to set Jaber on fire. That's fine, set me on it's fire. It's actually easier to see you as they go, but, and we're hoping, and be careful, there is lava down there, I don't know if you see that, so just be, be a little cautious of the lava down below. Alright, here goes my first shot. You are 
Where where did that land? <laughs> I did a jump. I did a jump on that. Uh, Seem real high. Yeah, you're. I don't know where those are landing, but you are not landing anywhere near. It. Go to your right, higher. Okay, to your right and higher. Make sure I see it light up. Uh, left, 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 left. Uh, oh. Lower, lower. I'm gonna go. Lower, lower. Ow. Yes. Uh, <laughs> higher, lower, lower. Now we were honing it in. Slightly lower. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that's. <laughs> Oh, no. After 10,000 years. <laughs> Dude, there's a whole island I, down here. I forgot. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen anyone walk on it yet. Just Dude. walking in there. I was gonna. I was gonna do what we do with J Bear and do these magical. I have these potions here. See if I can make it. Let's make the jump. Oh, there it goes. Loads <laughs> oh, in. You guys are cool. Um, I just have one issue with it. Didn't make it. Oh yeah, no, that... he missed. <laughs> So, yeah, there's two render distance in Minecraft. There's this one, your standard one, the server one, and then there's, these are all entities because you can open them. Now you can put chests and beds in here. You can actually do bells, which is really interesting, but it's only the bell portion, the stick portion doesn't. And I thought torches work because they have animations, but it's not everything with an animation. It's most things with an animation. But it is kind of cool. Now that you have seen it, now we must join and have others join. But we should have them join the enlightened ones. But here we go. The floating followers. Yes, the floating followers. Slow fall and push. So I came across this. Across this, I was flying around, uh, just exploring the world because I was climbing mountains. And then as I tried to jump down, um, my elytra broke actually as I was flying around through here and I actually f stumbled upon it. It is kind of cool though, you can see the shadow. I wasn't sure if you would see that now. Question, all right, are we gonna do the flying competition again? All right, here we go, <laughs> the flying competition, all right, are able to. Ah, it hit me! <laughs> oh, there you go, tactical, he already used his one. I wonder no if rockets. I could, if I had the 45-45, I would have been. That's what I'm doing. You don't actually gain oh, speed with the slow Oh, but you don't go up fall. with slow flying. <clears throat> you don't as gain the speed. As far as we can through the horizon? Yep. <laughs> At least what I, that's what I assume. Nope, I made it. I have only... <laughs> All right, so it's the x coordinate. So I'm at negative thirty nine oh one. Oh, my slow falling just ended. Mine ended way sooner than yours. I guess I wasn't near the center. Now, are you ready for my x coordinate? <laughs> yep. What's your x coordinate? <laughs> uh, negative four four three eight. Jungle. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, dog. I got stuck in the jungle. My x Wait, coordinate. Hold on. Oh, I'm farther than you, Houdini. Mine's negative four three eight two. <laughs> yeah, we nope, I didn't go. Oh, I found Jay Bear. Right? Oh, oh, hey. Jay Bear. Keep flying towards that lava pool, and you'll see me. Yeah. So I, I was it. technically Wait, farther. Too far. Yeah, I was technically farther. Nice, nice. Anyway, now you have become one of the enlightened ones, all of you. So you must keep the secret says we will have to go have more members join us soon but thank you for playing both of you you can find both of their channels again in the description uh, houdini does kind of let's play builds and jay bear does more live stream and live content <laughs> unless i am misspeaking for you at houdini twitch.tv slash jay bear zero two five nine Alrighty, so that was very fun messing around with Houdini and Jay Bear to show off this fun creation behind here with that 32 block distance radius that we could go. So we had a, quite a bit of fun being able to kind of troll our friends a little bit, show them a cool mechanic in the game that I don't think a lot of people knew about. But let's head back to my bases. I think there's a couple things there that I want to finish up with. So with our base being here, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start modifying it. So let me get those blocks, make it daytime, and we'll continue on. Okay, so I just finally went around. I got all these items here. So hopefully I can, you know, in that under room, I think I'll just make it a little bit of a building and crafting area. So we'll go down here. And I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, we can put the brewing stand on top. 
fill that with water just in case we need it. Now I do know maybe having an infinite water source over here might be better, but just for right now. now I did I have an enchanting table. I don't know, I just think they look kind of cool. Furnace over here and the smoker over there. Thatching, the loom, cryptography, and put this over there. There you go, so you can upgrade your tools if you want them. But I think that is fairly nice. Maybe I'll expand this out and have these be bookshelves at some point with these here. But I do think this is just a nice little extra work area. I think I'll put a crafting table down here as well, just in case. But I think our base has come along quite a bit. I think with these, we have kind of the main living, just so I can run in, grab a couple things, uh, fix up a couple things up here where I have my main, where you can sleep and get all of your other tools, just things that if you want to deload. And then of course, down below, as I finished just a little bit ago, all of our items and our main sorting. So I think our base has finally come along quite a well, but I think that's where it will end here. Now we did have some fun here with some zoo members. We did do quite a lot as you have seen over on the server, but I think this will wrap it up this series. Now unfortunately it is our time to go, but if you did like the video, do leave it a like. I do have the whole playlist here. You can watch the, all of the episodes of this season of the zoo, but we are soon to start on a new season of the zoo here so you may not have to wait super long for an another episode i am hoping that with having more members join that we will all be able to play for quite a bit longer and be able to get a lot more done together as a server so if you do want to follow along do hit that subscribe button but thank you very much for watching remember that you're important and have a great rest of your day and take care now bye